You know, so far our run has been going well, uh, better than I had anticipated. But after bleeding off so many hit points uh, by the changing of my equipment and gaining a crap ton of wisdom, uh, we could. This very well could be the end for us. Let us step through the glowing portal. You jump into the glowing portal that forms in the middle of the room. Before you get the chance to lament upon your poor life choices, you feel a sickening lurch in your stomach as you are pulled forward in time and space. Welcome to my lair. A mysterious voice emanating from the darkness startles you. You raise your weapon, hands trembling. I will give what you seek. The voice is so deep and penetrating that your bones throb in agony. Your feet are rooted to the spot as if they were fused to the floor beneath. The Brotherhood sent you, did they not? You seek to destroy my master. What then do you know of Cyrus? Cyrus the Magnificent, conqueror of the Demonic Legion, champion of West Haven. He defeated the Matron and imprisoned her in a crystal containing her soul. The Cyrus I knew was a vain and arrogant man with a gilded charm and a tongue of silver. Oh, that's certainly different than the legends. His sins are many and grievous. And you, you are the champion of his cause, and yet you remain ignorant. Do you know why the Brotherhood has chosen- The Brotherhood? Listen, lady. Um, but, look, I don't know what you're talking about, Brotherhood. I'm just up here. I ended up here. No one from the Brotherhood really, like, no. Was it because of your strength, your skill of the blade, your command of powerful magic, or is it because of your charming good looks? Because, or is it because you're charming good Oh yeah, definitely your charming good looks. The fallen steps forward into the light. She is a tall, statuesque woman, clad in the finest golden armor. Her wings, clad in feathers of brillant white mithril, carry her high into the air. In her prison, whatever. The fallen's laughter rings out in the darkness, high and clear. It is because you are easily deceived. You believe what the Brotherhood tells you, and you obey without question. And in the end, you are easily disposed of. The Fallen Divination Meter. This boss's meter will increase every time you heal. Oh yeah, this boss track. I, uh, don't have good memories of this one. Having flashbacks to the Freeware series. If you cast your ultimate, the meter will deplete. If the meter is filled, the boss will heal for a large amount. I just hate Aura with boob pocket. Still, <laughs> I forgot about that between videos. <laughs> charged. Let's use... Fuck it, we ain't running. Let's do this. <laughs> oh, shit. By the power of the matron, be healed! Reset my combo. Oof. Uh, let's heal up. I'm assuming I have my ultimate, yeah. I used my guardian sooner than I should have, but that worked out alright. 
By the power of the matron, you shall be cursed. Great. Fuck you. Fuck you. I don't even need to see my abilities. <laughs> <laughs> Go to hell! <laughs> the boob pockets, pockets of my armor. So impractical. The fallen smashes into the ground in a heap of dented armor, her twitching wings bent and splayed in different directions. No, no, please, forgive me, master, I tried. You stare into her mournful, pleading eyes before plunging your blade mm, downwards between her collarbones. Imagine that we... We just did that with our fucking sledgehammer ball thing. You slowly turn around as the Fallen's last breath vacates her mortal shell. The entire room is bathed in a brilliant white light. You never hear the explosion coming. The Fallen has been defeated. Seek refuge in the cold city of Kaldora. Take down the Keeper of Souls. Three soul shards to make up for the one you fucked up at during crafting. The sands of time are slowly swirling beneath your feet. Seek their wisdom, listen to them, hear their cries. Let them guide you to your ashes. Use them wisely. You have unlocked a heal perk. This can only be used once per battle. Um, if your health is below 50% restore MP, I think I'm going to take Blood Pact. If enemy is bleeding, double enemy bleed stacks. I trust that you've made the right decision. A new set of character origins have been unlocked. I was trying to speed through that a bit because I had the idea of ending the video early to perhaps give the illusion that I died. <laughs> but I don't really want to rush through this. Eldora. We're coming for it. I believe that takes care of Act 1? Yes. The campfire burns bright and warm. You and the blacksmith stand in opposition, with the comforting flame dancing between you. You're a nosy one, aren't you? The blacksmith looks deep into the campfire, the flickering spirits reflecting off his somber eyes. I suppose we've been traveling long enough, and we're going to keep going until the matron is dead. The blacksmith takes in a deep breath and sighs. Have I told you about my family adventurer? The blacksmith begins speaking, his words at first a trickle and then a downpour, filling your mind with a world from the past. Have you ever been to Silverport? It is, was a beautiful place. Brotherhood naval ships would sail into port daily. You should have seen how their cannons glinted against the morning sun. Your mind fills with the hustle and bustle of a busy town port. The sun's early rays cast themselves over the bay. The Brotherhood presence made people feel safe. Merchants from all over flocked to the bazaar, stall after stall, vendors as far as the eye could see. If ever there were a city of life and prosperity, Silverport was it. The blacksmith is hard at work taking hammer to anvil. The glow of the forge and the bright flashes of sparks fills, fills the shop. I move there as a young blacksmith to make a name for myself. A young woman enters the shop. Her eyes light up at the sight of the blacksmith. She leans against the door frame and smiles. Instead, I found a wife and a family. The sun sets over the rooftops of Silverport. All is tranquil. The naval fleet is docked. The market stalls are closing. Only a few people shuffle about in the streets. I was happy for a long time, until the attack. One of the buildings near port catches on fire, then another, and then another. We were safe, sure. The fleet protected an attack from sea, and our walls protected us from a frontal assault. Chaos abounds, monsters and demons flood the street, surging and engulfing all life in their path. But they came from the depths of the earth, attacked us 
from the sewers. Young blacksmith rushes to the front of his shop, burning debris bars his entrance in the streets. Monsters gut men like fish and drag the women deep into the sewers. What could I do? I was just a blacksmith. Fire consumes the town of Silverport and reaches its way to the boats in the harbor. One by one, the Brotherhood's fleet drops below the waters of the bay. I'd like to say that I resisted, that I took up arms and defended my home as best I could. But I didn't. I ran. My family, they never had a chance. The blacksmith's silence brings you back into the present. He stares into the fire, his eyes wet and lost within his own memories. The matron is evil. I didn't need to lose my family to know that. But now you know. The blacksmith takes in a deep breath and holds it. His exhale seems to take with it the weight of his past, and grimace goosebumps at reading that, even though he's already seen the story of the blacksmith. I just thought you should know. Gigantic Rock Golem is brought in your pack. Let's sing a song. Falls asleep on your crotch. Well, everyone. <laughs> what an experience that was.